Before I showcase why Blanchard is above all, below none, please subscribe to Sheffy because they helped me make the video and it couldn't be done without them. And guys, we are finally, finally eating it, guys. Blanchard, we have been waiting for this buff. Yes, guys, Silas Beam Posture has finally been added and Silas Beam with Bloodless has also been fixed. So we're going to talk about that today. So for the first clip, you'll see it's going to do around three bars of posture, which is 60% of their posture bar. And you can see here they have 41 posture. So 41 times 0.6 it's dealing around 24.6 posture or 25 posture and keep in mind we both have remember off in this clip so yeah pretty insane 25 posture for something that's basically free and that's gonna add up in a fight is it crazy broken i think so but we're gonna see how it plays out in the upcoming weeks when i think more people are starting to go blind here now the next thing is the bloodless healing yes they finally fixed it. if you didn't know before it used to heal only two percent but now you can see in this clip it is healing me for 13 12 to 13 percent hp Dealing around 27% HP back. So almost a two times increase from the amount I healed. Because Bloodless does reduce your damage on the mantra. Unless they fixed that a while ago, I'm not sure. Also, if you're wondering, adding things like Glassstone to increase the duration would make it do the same effect at the end. So it just spreads out the damage and the posture. So it's not really worth it, unless it's for ganks. So what do you guys think about these buffs? Are they good or are they bad? Does Blanchard need more? Does it need less? Let me know in the comments. And again, thank you to Sheffy for helping me make the video. So I was playing the Pokemon normally when I started to see something really weird. It seemed to be some person with a lot of hats on their head. I wasn't sure what this is, so I did some investigation and I decided...